Just make sure that all of the sides are touching so that they can adhere to one another. We've got some down home cooking. We're gonna start with this beautiful beef shank I've got here. I'm gonna rub it in this garlic butter and then take some of that extra roasted garlic and just smother it all over this beautiful cut of meat here. Then that butter is gonna act as our glue. We're gonna go straight into this rub, this spice house seasoning I made here. Everything but the kitchen sink. We've got all our favorite spices in there. And then let's go ahead and just sear this on the grill. We wanna get a good sear to lock in that flavor before we finish off cooking this. It's getting a nice color already. Let's head over here. We're gonna set it in our pot and start building this stew with our veggies. I've got some onions some garden tomatoes, carrots, peas, any kind of vegetables you like. I'm using mushrooms, some celery, and then we're gonna hit it with some white wine. Make sure you have a wine that you like drinking because that flavor is gonna come out in the food. So get something decent, and then just go around a couple times in your pan here, and then go back through with your beef stock. I'm just using about two cups of beef stock here and just covering up those veggies. Then insulate all of it with some aluminum foil and we're gonna head off to the oven and let this cook low and slow. This is comfort food at its best, old school beef stew and mashed potato pie. Let's get working on that pie crust. So what I've got here is some mashed potatoes in a pastry bag. You can even use a Ziploc bag and just cut the end off if you don't have these pastry tips. And then just go along the side of a flipped over tart uh, pan or pie pan and we're just gonna line it, make it nice and pretty, whatever kind of design you like. Just make sure that all of the sides are touching so that they can adhere to one another. Then we're gonna take this and go into some super hot oil. It's at 375 degrees. I want it to immediately start cooking those mashed potatoes. And then we have this beautiful shell here. That's gonna be the base. It's gonna act as our bowl and hold our hearty stew in the bottom. Let's start building it with some mashed potatoes. We gotta have mashed potatoes with beef stew. And let's just swirl this all over the bottom of our mashed potato pie shell. So we've got the crispy and the creamy all together, all combined. Let's make a little design here using our spoon, super simple. Just do a little jagged shape like I did there and then cut a hole through the center, pressing down on your spoon and it'll do the design, do all the work for you. Cover the bottom with a little of that gravy that's been cooking for hours and then throw our beef shank right on top. Fill up the whole of that marrow with some more gravy. The more gravy, the better. We wanna smother this dish in it. And then I'm gonna just add all of those veggies that have been roasting in that sauce and hit it with some chives and we've got all the elements going on here. 